we have open hi-hat and closed hi-hat. So I'm gonna do some uh, work with a piezo pickup here. This is a piezo disc or piezo disc, however you uh, wanna say it. But basically what this does is um, it senses a vibration or uh, a force and it generates a voltage. And you can see, I have a yellow oscilloscope probe uh, right here and I don't know, look at it on the oscilloscope and you can see what kind of voltage it generates when I tap on it. Um, and I'm tapping on it very lightly and you can see it generates up to five volts and even more if I hit it harder. And then it gives you a negative voltage, kind of like what a capacitor does. Uh, when uh, you send a um, signal through it, as it rebounds, it gives you a negative voltage. So using this, um, I'm gonna attempt to make a force sensitive trigger for the percussion uh, synthesizer or drum machine. And so as I, if I tap it very lightly, it gives you, you know, one volt, two volts, and then as I hit harder, so if I press it, it does that, and then if I let it go, it gives you a big negative spike. So first of all, we're gonna get rid of that negative spike. So now I put a one um, mega ohm resistor to ground, so it doesn't the input doesn't float and provides a lot more stability to the resultant uh, spike from this. But as you can see, I still have to hit it pretty hard in order to get over that voltage drop with the diode. So we're losing a lot. And if I wanted to use this as a trigger, it's good, however, I have to hit it really hard in order to get over that uh, voltage spike problem. So let's uh, let's see how we can fix that problem using an op amp. So now I've hooked up that same circuit to an op amp. This is a TLO 74 op amp, and uh, basically the way uh, this is going to the piezo disc uh, positive red uh, wire is going into the non-inverting input. Uh, this is the op amp is uh, between positive and negative 12 volt rails. The one mega ohm resistor to ground um, is going to the non-inverting input as well. Then the diode is being fed back from the output to the inverting input and the oscilloscope probe is coming from the end of the diode. And if you look at the resultant uh, tracing, now I, very, I have to touch it very lightly and it registers a nice spike voltage. If I press and hold it, there's a decay to it, which is great. So now using this uh, circuit, we can build a trigger for a drum voice. Uh, we just need to add some effects to it, like a decay, and see what happens. So now, um, the output of the op amp after the diode is going into a capacitor, and the oscilloscope is there. Uh, so let's see what happens when um, I trigger the piezo disc uh, 
with the capacitor there. Let's see. The capacitor charges and there's a leak on the capacitor. So, and it takes very little steps to, to get it to go up. Kind of like a sample and hold circuit with the capacitor, with the capacitor leaking naturally. So, in order to fix that, we're going to put a resistor in. This is a 100K resistor. This is a one microfarad capacitor. And we'll see what happens when the resistor is there in parallel with the capacitor. It should discharge through the 100K resistor, uh, which won't discharge it instantly, but it'll discharge it slower. And here's what the tracing looks like as I press on this. And you get a nice little envelope. It looks like 200... 200 milliseconds it takes to go all the way down. So this, if you wanted to have a decay in some form of sound, well, it should get applied to a voltage controlled amplifier, a VCA, and feeding in whatever uh, drum noise, and it should make circuit or it should make a, a nice little envelope so this ends up being a trigger and an envelope generator and it's force sensitive so let's see what we can do with that so now for the next part um, we've made the envelope generator and trigger with the piezo disc ready so I'm gonna bring in a white noise source which is basically a transistor wired backwards. And I made this use uh, to make a hi-hat circuit in the past. Uh, and so you could watch that video in order to know how to do it. But basically, uh, if you apply 12 volts to the emitter of an NPN transistor, uh, it starts making uh, white noise and just put it through an op amp to amplify it. And so here we are uh, with this white noise and if you want to hear the white noise um it sounds like white noise here it goes so now we're gonna use that with our piezo disc uh, amplifier or piezo disc uh, trigger to an envelope generator to generate a percussion sound so this little circuit right here is a uh, VCA, a voltage controlled amplifier. It's a swing type VCA using a single NPN transistor and it was very common in the uh, old drum machines, uh, old synthesizers like the, um, the Roland TR-808, uh, the most famous one. And uh, basically what you have here in terms of components is um, and I'll show you right now, is uh, this black wire is the input uh, white noise generator from the white noise generator signal. And you have an NPN transistor, uh, collector base emitter. Uh, this is a 2N2222. The emitter is grounded. The base is biased to VCC to 5 volts. Uh, with, or actually bias it to 12 volts um, using a uh, 1 meg resistor. And uh, the input signal to the base is coming in through a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. And then in order to affect the sound, you put a small capacitor uh, to ground from the base as well. And in this way, this uh, provides a filtering uh, Kind of circuit. Now, uh, a diode facing the collector is going to the collector, um, and uh, basically any voltage applied to the collector at this point through some form of a resistor will uh, trigger the white noise that's coming into the base of the transistor. Um, to amplify based on uh, the amount of voltage going in. So let's give this a try and see how it works. 
now we have um, a 47K resistor going into the diode. So there can't be any current flow backwards, just forward flow here. And uh, the oscilloscope, oscilloscope probe is on this area. Now, I have here a voltage, a 1K potentiometer wired as a voltage divider. And basically it's going to increase or decrease the voltage. If I turn it uh, clockwise, it's gonna increase the voltage applied uh, to that point and decrease the voltage. Uh, so let's see what happens. And the white noise is going into the base of the transistor. So let's see what happens as I turn this uh, counterclockwise, it becomes quieter. And if I turn it clockwise, it becomes louder. But as you can see, the signal has a lot of DC offset. So we're gonna need to put that through a resistor to bring it to ground. So now, um, all I did was add a 680 picofarad capacitor uh, from the point I was measuring with the oscilloscope before to, uh, to now. And so you could see on the screen of the oscilloscope, you could see it's a very quiet signal, but as I turn uh, this voltage divider clockwise, the signal just increases, but it's centered around ground. And now the signal, and as I turn counterclockwise, the signal becomes quiet, almost nothing. And in this way, this is how a swing type voltage controlled amplifier works. So now instead of putting a voltage divider here, we're gonna put something else. Uh, just for the fun of it, Let's try to listen to what this sounds like. So I have my speaker, my speaker going to the amp attached and I have it very quiet. So this is what it sounds like. It's quiet. And if I turn it counterclockwise, it gets really quiet. If I turn it clockwise, it goes loud. Sounds like the ocean. And now, instead of using the voltage divider between zero and five volts, I have the previous uh, piezo disc uh, trigger slash, uh, well, it's a force sensitive trigger slash uh, envelope generator. And we are applying that envelope through this 47K resistor to the voltage controlled amplifier transistor circuit. And let's see what we get. And I'm gonna zoom out here. And you get the white noise shaped like the envelope. So now we're gonna attempt to listen to this and see what happens. If I press it lightly, you get a very small hi-hat type sound because that's the white noise. If I press it hard, now in order to try to uh, change things up a little bit, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the decay. And so in order to change the decay of the envelope, you basically take out this 100K resistor where the, where the capacitor is and put in a 680K resistor. Now let's see what happens. Now it sounds like an open hi-hat. And if you add a little bit of uh, high-pass filtering through it, you can probably make it sound like a cymbal, a crash cymbal. 
and it sounds really quiet when I tap it quietly. And it could sound really loud if I hit it hard. So now we have a very aggressive high pass filter uh, by just taking a 1K, uh, 1K resistor to ground. And so this becomes a passive high pass filter. And if you could, as you can see, that limits the volume tremendously. I'm pressing this really hard. And so we're gonna to have to put it through an amplifier. And let's see what happens with that. So now that we have the output of the high pass filter going through an op amp an inverting configuration right there with a gain of approximately seven. And so let's hear what that sounds like when I press on the piezo disc. Probably needs more amplification. Sounds like a good open hi-hat or even a metallic cymbal. how that works and just like that we have a force sensitive piezo disc activated hi-hat thanks for watching